Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today is unboxing day. Also kind of mail call, it's an unboxing. Uh, one thing arrived today. I'm actually expecting a couple of the books to arrive, but they're not here yet. Um, but I got this and I'm very happy to have this. This is 128 gigabytes of 5,600 megahertz DDR5 RAM from, uh, uh, who makes it, Vengeance, Corsair, there we go, it's the Corsair RAM, uh, it's the Vengeance uh, brand, um, Performance DDR5 RAM, so uh, very happy to have this, this is a whopping 128 gigabytes, it's going to replace my 64 gigabytes, so it's essentially going to double my RAM which is really great. I know it sounds silly, but I'm actually running out of RAM at 64 gigs. Um, and that's mostly because I run a whole heap of virtual machines on my desktop. Um, and, and those add up and they just chew up the RAM and I run out of RAM. So um, this will fix that problem. Um, then of course I'll have 64 gigs free. Um, and 32 of that will fit in my new computer, Treat. At the moment, Treat has 16 gigs of RAM. So after we do this little shuffle, uh, Treat will have 32 gigs of RAM, which will be double. And I will still have a spare 32 gigs and a spare 16 gigs. Um, I might think about selling those on eBay or I might just keep them in the drawer. So, um, I will uh, unbox this with you presently. We'll jump over to the thing. Um, and before I close this video, I'll actually install it. So I'll shut everything down, I'll install it, um, and I'll let you know how that went um, before the end of this video. Of course, I haven't installed it yet. I haven't even taken it out of the box, but we'll do that together in a second. I just wanted to uh, honorable mention, um, today my Make Magazine arrived. I subscribe to Make Magazine. Um, and this is volume 91. There we go. Um, so it looks like they've got some, uh, some interesting uh, micro uh, things there on the front cover. So I look forward to flipping through that. Um, I wonder, should we do that together? I don't know. Um, and then this is the uh, Make Guide to Boards, which is really excellent. This is the 2025 edition. So they're getting it out in advance of next year. Um, and uh, I really value this um, uh, this publication. It's a very useful uh, 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 thing that they do. Make Magazine basically catalogues all of the boards that are available and then um, tells you um, uh, their specs. So it'll tell you... Um, uh, uh, actually, why don't, why, don't we, uh, why don't we look at it together? I'll pop you over to the bench and we'll have a look in this thing. Here we are on the bench. So, um, <clears throat> yes, as I was saying, this, um, this little uh, magazine here um, from, uh, uh, from Make Magazine is the guide to boards. And as I was saying, um, they have tables um, that uh, compare um, the various options. So uh, it'll tell you the name of the board, the price, how big it is, um, what software it runs, uh, what the clock speed is, what the processor is, how much memory it has, what its uh, communications radios can do, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, that sort of thing, um, video outputs, uh, Ethernet on board or not, uh, input voltage, uh, battery connection, operating voltage, and the type, and it's uh, SBC single board computer, and MCU is a microcontroller unit, I guess. So one's a, a, a board and one's a, a, an integrated circuit. So um, let's keep on flipping along here. Okay, that's interesting. There's, uh, there's really not that many in here. So it must just be, what is it? Just the ones that are new? I'm not really sure. Usually, it's a great big honking thing. Um, maybe it's 
Oh, okay. So they've just got a few featured boards. They don't seem to have the whole thing that they usually have. Uh, give me one second, I'll be back. I'm back. So I just thought I'd get the other, um, the other ones. This is 2021, 2022, 2024. So I seem to be missing 2023. I'm not sure what happened to that. Um, so this is the one that came out last year. And as you can see, they've got one, two, three, four, um, five. So like it's actually jam packed with boards uh, on the 2024 edition. But this is the 2025 edition and there's only half a page. So I don't understand, <clears throat> I don't understand the logic behind that. Let's have a bit of a read of this thing. Uh, Board Almighty. 2023 was a great year for boards with both Raspberry Pi and Arduino launching new flagships in the form of the Pi 5 and the Uno 4 respectively. Supply chain issues had largely been solved and we found ourselves in a Cambrian explosion of microcontrollers and single board computers. Thanks to abundant resources including the RP2040 and the ESP32 and sustained availability of basic integrated circuits and passive component, components whose scarcity had been stunting the growth of the domain. All right, well, I'm not going to sit here and read the whole thing together with you. I don't understand why there's only half a page of boards in this in this magazine. Anyway, it's not what I was expecting, so there you go. Now, um, I don't know if I've got the 2023 edition somewhere. Presumably I do. So... Um, Let's have a look at our um, thing that we're unboxing. This is it. Now, um, uh, I'm going to pop this into my computer uh, and then I'll let you know uh, how it went. So, um, let's just uh, open him up. How are we going to do that? Okay. <sighs> Cut myself there. So, um, yeah, as I said, this is the Corsair Vengeance um, RAM, which I do believe is a fairly solid RAM. Um, I try to buy the stuff that doesn't have the RGB um, headers. I don't need my RAM to flash. Um, so, uh, I don't get that. Uh... Okay. Might get that knife out again there. Just gonna cut that there. Ah. So Oh dear, this is not RAM. That's the strangest thing I've ever seen. Very strange. I don't know what this is. It's like two bits of metal. Wow, that's just odd. Uh, wow. I mean, why on earth would they send me a couple of bits of metal? Shall we open it up and look at it? I, I don't understand. This is just... 
just it's just two bits of metal glued together. How on earth did that happen? I don't understand. Wow. Oh well. I'll, uh, I'll take you over to the computer. We'll wrap up. Well, that was highly strange. Very strange. Um, uh, the um, the pack says uh, Vengeance DDR5 RAM, so that's what I was expecting. And I've never seen anything like this in all my days. Um, this just has two bits of metal hot glued into a case. So the RAM that's supposed to be in here simply isn't. And in its place is two pieces of metal. Absolutely fascinating. How on earth could that have happened? It's just mind boggling. Um, so obviously I'll have to return that to Amazon. I did buy this from Amazon, so um, that should be achievable. Um, will I post this video or not? I don't know. This video uh, is a bit of an anticlimax. Uh, still, I might as well. It's not a very long video and we did have a look at the Make magazine, so I'll post it. Um, and of course I'll have to go back to waiting for my ramp to arrive, which is disappointing. I was hoping to get on with that. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching and please remember to hit like and subscribe. Hello again. Um, I just thought I'd record this little addendum. Um, I have returned the Corsair Vengeance RAM, uh, which is this one here, uh, to Amazon. I just went through their returns process um, because, uh, yeah, there was metal in the thing. So I guess uh, what's happened is one of the staff has pinched it at the factory or the warehouse. Um, that's my best guess. So uh, I'm not really sure how it came to be uh, metal rather than RAM. Um, anyway, uh, look, I decided not to buy the same uh, brand again, uh, just in case I had the same problem again. Um, but every dark cloud has a silver lining. Uh, when I was finding an alternative product, I found something which is pretty much just as good, um, but uh, qu quite, quite a bit cheaper. So that was this uh, Kingston Fury Beast. Um, I bought the white um, uh, color instead of the black and saved myself 50 bucks. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and all up, it was more than $100 cheaper than the one that I had. So um, I'm going to get some money back even. So that's pretty good. I have to wait until uh, December the 13th for this to arrive though. So I uh, just got a, a little delay there. Um, yeah, as I said, the, the Kingston Fury Beast White, uh, it's Intel XMP, DDR5, 128 gigs, and it can do up to 5,600 um, megaflops or megatransfers per second. Um, the CAS latency is 40, which is a bit slow, but that's okay. Um, and it's a, a, a kit of four. Um, so there we go. So uh, yeah, I've got that on order now. Um, and it should be here uh, in the middle of December. So I look forward to that arriving. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video and please enjoy the rest of your day.